Today, we're going to learn how to create this amazing look in DaVinci Resolve. We shot this footage with the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K in RAW. We start by creating our node structure. The first one we'll name CST. The second will be our balance node. Then we create four nodes in parallel. These will be our secondary adjustments. After that, we create another three serial nodes. We name them Rec 709. CST and LUT. Finally, we create another three nodes in parallel. These nodes will be adjustments in Rec 709. In our first node, we're going to add the color space transform effect. This time in our raw settings, we'll only activate the highlight recovery option. In our color space transform effect, our input will be Blackmagic Design Wide Gamut Gen 4 5. Our gamma input, Blackmagic Design Film Gen 5. Our output, DaVinci Wide Gamut and Gamma, DaVinci Intermediate. Now in our Rec 709 node, we'll add another color space transform, and the settings will be Input, DaVinci Wide Gamut. Gamma, DaVinci Intermediate, and our outputs will be Rec 709 and Gamma 2.4. This way, we already have our image converted to Rec 709. Now we will convert the image to Cineon Film Log to use a filmic LUT. For this, we add another color space transform. Our inputs will be Rec 709, Gamma 2.4. but our gamma output will be Cineon Film Log. Now in our LUT node, we'll apply the Kodak 2383D65 LUT. This LUT is built into DaVinci Resolve. This way, we already have our image with a Kodak film look. Now let's go to our balance node, and with our primary wheels, we adjust the luminosity. I'll decrease gain a bit, then increase lift a bit to reduce some contrast. I continue adjusting a bit in gamma and lift, aiming for a more pleasing image, lowering the highlights a bit, and continuing to adjust until we like it. Always keep an eye on our scopes, making sure everything stays in place. To achieve those cyan and warm tones, we'll adjust our temperature towards the cooler side, directly with the temperature tool, we can also adjust a bit in lift to make the image even cooler. Don't worry if everything looks very blue. Now we go to our last parallel nodes where we'll compensate for the blue tone. With the gain tool, we'll increase the oranges and yellows a bit. Same in gamma. In our next node, we'll add a bit more contrast with the curves. Our image is already looking amazing. Let's go to our secondary nodes and create a gradient mask. I'll give it a bit of light with gain and a touch of contrast, thus highlighting some details that will further enhance the image. In the next node, I'll use another mask and adjust the contrast again.
At this stage, we aim to highlight some details giving an extra touch to our look. We return to our balance node and in gamma, we add a bit more cyan. In our last parallel nodes, we add a bit more oranges and yellows, thus accentuating the color contrast. Now in our third parallel node, we'll do a composite mode. With right click, we access this option and choose soft light. Now we'll add illumination with lift, gamma, and gain. Decrease saturation a bit and give it a bit of blur with the blur tool. Now we go to the key tool and give opacity to this node we just created. We're combining this node as if it were a layer. We just need a touch of this effect. Wow, we've achieved the look we were aiming for. Finally, in one of our parallel nodes, we'll add the effect. Aperture diffraction. This will give a bit of glow to the lights. In quality, we'll set it to half. We'll set aperture size to 10 and in blade curvature, and with the other tools, we make sure the glow looks a bit more natural. Finally, we combine the effect so it looks subtle. In one of our secondary nodes, we'll add a vignette to highlight our model a bit more. And there we have it. A look that we love with a color separation that becomes magical. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that it helps your projects have a more cinematic look. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give us a like if you enjoyed this video. You would help us a lot to keep creating more content.